Hello everyone. Welcome to this video on social engineering attack. So what is social engineering attack in the context of information security? Social engineering is the psychological manipulation of people by the attackers in order to perform actions or divulging confidential information. So this differs from social engineering within the social sciences which does not concern the divulging of confidential information. So attacker manipulates the psychology of the user to make the user to reveal the confidential information or to make the user get into some kind of trouble by like malware inf infection etc so there are different kinds of social engineering attack baiting scareware pretexting phishing spear phishing uh, then email hacking and contact spamming so what is phishing phishing scams or email and text message campaigns which are aimed at creating a sense of urgency, curiosity or fear in victims among the users. It will make the users reveal sensitive information by making the user click on the links which are sent by the attacker uh, through the email. So this link would uh, lead the user to some website uh, which are fraudulent in nature or it will make the user open the attachment and the attachment might contain uh, some kind of malware so this is a phishing attack the narrowed down version of the phishing attack is a spear phishing so in spear phishing uh, is an email or electronic communication scam targeted towards uh, some individuals, organization or business. The main focus of the spear phishing is uh, it is intended to steal data for malicious purposes. Also cyber criminals may also intend to install malware on a target user's computer. So an email arrives apparently from a trustworthy source. So some emails are crafted by the attackers, sent to the user. So when the email would contain some kind of link, if the link is uh, clicked by the user, it would lead the user into some kind of uh, bogus website, fraudulent website, or to some uh, you know the attachment can uh, unload the malware into the system okay so this kind of attacks are called spear phishing attack now let me practically uh, demonstrate how these uh, kind of attacks are performed using Kali Linux the main objective of this uh, video is to demonstrate the phishing attack for educational purpose so that we learn these techniques in order to protect the information uh, in order to secure the ICT infrastructure in uh, organizations as a you know ethical hackers so this kind of uh, knowledge should not be misused and it is punishable as per the law of any country uh, is concerned. So let me explain how this attack is performed. So first login into the Kali Linux. Open the terminal. So 
So open the terminal. First check who is a user. Okay. Then yes, e tool kit. We need this set of programs to perform the social engineering attack. For that, we have to be the root. So sudo root sudo su so who am I so now we have become the root okay so we need this root privilege in order to execute this uh, programming uh, execute this tool set so we can set se toolkit so from the menu we have to select the social engineering attack so enter one then here we are going to perform website attack vectors so there are different vectors are there so we are going to emulate a website like google or twitter or facebook and uh, through that uh, by fraudulently emulating uh, the websites we are going to steal the credentials of the user for educational purpose once again let me reiterate here uh, i am demonstrating this only for educational purpose and it should not be misused. Set to website attack. Then here in this menu, uh, we are going to harvest the credentials like username and password. Okay, so let me select the third option. And then uh, we have like, you know, how we are going to do this uh, credential harvesting by web template we are going to emulate a website example google so let me select the first option here so now it is asking uh, from which system we are going to perform this attack so who is going to be the listener actually so the listener is the same system so the same system ip already given here so this Kali is running uh, with IP address 192.168.1.36. Okay, if you want, you can confirm that again using uh, a new window. Okay. So the system is uh, running with this IP address. enter the same IP of the uh, Kali mission just wait some processing is going on so now uh, we have to select uh, this option so what we are going to do exactly we want the google you we are going to emulate the google website so select the option 2 and enter so the system is in, in the listening mode okay so now actually i have uh, Okay, I have created a web page and the web page has a link that points to this site, to this IP address in which uh, 
about the AC toolkit is running. So AC toolkit we have configured to perform the phishing attack and it is listening in the IP address of this Kali machine 192.168.1.36. Okay, this is IP of this machine. So now, um, so this is the uh, link which you have to, uh, sorry, as an attacker, the attacker has to send uh, the link to the user by email. So he has to trick the user okay manipulate the user psychologically by sending this link okay to the user so let us say uh, by email this as this link has been sent to the user okay so the user um, does not have any security awareness he just opened this link so when you open the link, okay, he can, uh, so when the user open the link, okay, so when the user open the link, he sees that the message is, uh, the user is opening the email. So the user is seeing the link, click to visit Google. So he click Google link to visit the Google. Uh, you can see the IP address. It is pointing to the attacker machine. So if the user does not have the security awareness, if the user has the security awareness, he would check the URL here. Okay, from that he can understand, or he can click the certificate. Okay, there is no certificate. So, if the user has uh, no such security awareness, then what he does, he would uh, believe that this is a genuine Google page from Google. So, let us say uh, he would uh, a b c at uh, gmail dot com. And he is entering the password. Let's say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. He's entering the password. So again, it is taken uh, to the Google page, but already the damage has been done now. Now the control has been navigated to the Google page, genuine Google page, but he has not yet logged in. Actually, this is not uh, my account. To which I have given the credentials. This is different account. Understand? So already I am in the session. So I am going into this page. Uh, let me demonstrate this. Sign out of all the accounts. Okay. Sign out of all the accounts. So let me open again. Okay. ABC at gmail.com. One, two, three, four, five, six. Click sign in. So now you can see. Okay. It has uh, taken uh, the user to the Google page. But whatever the credentials he has given, using that credentials, the login process did not take place because the credentials are stolen by the attacker. Now you can see the attacker he has the or he she has the credentials now. Email name, email uh, account, and the password. Okay, so the already the damage has been done. The attacker is uh, able to emulate uh, the google website and uh, okay it's a, it's not a genuine site it's a fraudulent site the link to the fraudulent site is sent um, to the user by email and the user is made 
psychologically made to click the link and then using the link uh, you know the user is made to enter his or her credentials and by this way the credentials are stolen by the attacker okay so this is the example of a uh, phishing attack so let me reiterate this is only for educational purpose we are not supposed to uh, perform these kind of attacks on any individual or any organization it is punishable as per the uh, you know the any country's law only for educational purpose we have to learn and we have to use all the mitigating techniques okay the techniques which would protect the users and the organization from these kind of attacks okay so with this uh, i conclude this video thank you very much